Hi everyone, my name is Jaden. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I wanted to kind of start a conversation about nutrition and diet, uh, partially in regards to the health crash recovery, um, but also just overall um, in general, because I think it's a huge factor in the um, health issue I had. And um, it's a few, huge factor just going forward because of for what I think. Um, so uh, before the health crash that I had, um, I, well, let's take it way back. Like, so growing up, I actually ate really balanced and well. Um, I come from a multicultural family, so food was very big. Um, the quality of food, cooking our own food and meals versus eating out, that was all very big. Um, so I actually had a very good relationship with food until, and I had a very good relationship with food, um, through competing as an athlete and yeah, I just, you know, that was never an issue until I got into the entertainment biz in my like early twenties, I would say. And I just kind of lost myself in that where I was totally fine, but I searched for more perfection and it became an obsession. And part of that had to do with my diet and food. And that was a huge reason why I literally screwed myself over um, with this health issue after years of crazy dieting um, in extremes and trying out like every fucking diet there is and doing it to the max because I was like always on the search for how to be more perfect, how to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, more other, like other videos on this, I've posted all around my, you know, all in my channel. You could browse through my playlist um, if you're interested. And so then throughout having that health issue, eating was a major, it, it was like, that whole experience was like, I've said many, many times before, it was like a reset and like relearn of so many things, like relationship with myself, um, with my life, with my diet, with my workouts, with my goals, uh, with how I approach stress, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so of course, during the recovery time, food had to be abundant. Like you can't, like starving is such a major cause of stress. So fucking with your diet in any way it was just not a way to recover um and i definitely do not recommend that but at the same time i'm not a nutritionist i'm not a doctor so i don't want to be like giving out prescriptions of like what kind of food you should eat if you want to recover from that health issue or any any advice on food because what i'm about to get into next is how clear i got for myself about food after all that um, and it really goes back to a partially the influence of media and, you know, TV and like what we read. Um, we just, and th this is all my bias, like my own opinion, which is biased to how I feel. Right. So we all are entitled to our opinions and this is mine i'm just sharing it and starting a conversation so feel free to comment down below what you think or what your uh thoughts are um i i just think we've i use the word we mainly me and my views i'm not including everyone obviously we're all different right so but we're just falling so far away from simplicity of food which is supposed to be enjoyable and nurturing it's not supposed to be complex it's not supposed to be preset um it's not supposed to be taught by somebody else um because everyone's different their body's different their life experience different their activity levels different everything is different and the difference is also day to day almost moment to moment like you can't just for example, like as an athlete, if you're competing, let's say in a tennis match or any sports, you don't preset how you're going to fuel because you don't know exactly what's going to happen. So 
you kind of have to go by what's needed. Um, very similar to diets, like, you know, there's just all these rules and all this restrictions and all this like, like planning and all that. It just doesn't work for me. Okay. And I know it doesn't work for a lot of people. Um, and, and people have just like fallen so far away from just being logical. Like, let me use an example of like organic, right? I prefer to eat organic, obviously, but Sometimes you'll go to the store and you have these shriveled up organic berries that are on the verge of being spoiled, but they're organic. And next to it, you'll have regular berries that looks good. Um, in that moment, even though I choose to have organic, I wouldn't get organic in that moment. Those are my choices, right? But this is not what a lot of us are doing these days. It's like, we're just so attached to all these labels, all these like ways to an extreme that you are lost. Like you, you've lost touch with like what's actually good for you. And your body is sending you signals. Like if you're stressed out all the time and you're having health issues from stress and you, you might want to take a look at like how you're approaching everything. You know, I certainly did. Like I totally did that. I was sticking to these plans and these like preconceived whatever so strictly that I was actually not doing anything that was good for me. Um, as far as diet and many other things like workouts and stuff like that. So I totally had a transformation through that health crash thing. And I learned that like, Back to basics, back to simplicity, back to what feels good, back to what inspires me, back to, God, it's so easy. It doesn't have to be this complex thing. Um, and, 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 you know, like another topic is like, there's so many, uh, like media is kind of made to, you know, influence you a certain way, right? So like you'll see, and I'm not really naming any names, but there, you'll see these like, you know, so-so influencers or gurus or models or fitness guys who, you know, they look amazing, right? And they're, they're claiming this diet. And sometimes they may only be doing that diet for like two weeks. And you're like, oh, he does this diet or she does this diet. Therefore, what I see is because of this diet. No, guys. Like, it's not just that, you know, like, you know, I've seen these influencer who's who has been in fitness eating a, a animal based protein diet and gotten, you know, where they are. And then they decide to go vegetarian and now they're promoting ve vegetarian. And then the people are watching them thinking, oh, they look like that because they're vegetarian. Guys, that's not the truth. Same thing with the other way around. You know, like these guys who are wait, like been vegetarian for a long time, they're, they're woken up to meat. So then they go on this, whatever carnivore or keto or whatever. And, uh, they're claiming that they feel great and this is the best thing for them and it's the best thing for everyone and you should go on it. And the truth is they've eaten tons of vegetables up to that point, And now they've just eat, gotten protein, which is what they might be lacking at the time. So yeah, it makes sense that they feel balanced and good. And then, so what you see is not the conclusion of the result of him just eating tons of meat that you see, what you see is, you know, everything that led up to that. Um, these are just examples. These aren't obviously every case, but you get the gist. Okay. Don't do things just because there's, especially in diet, just like, because there's a book written about it or that it's supposed to be recommended. It just, that's just not how food works. You know, um, you can't pre-plan what you're hungry for. That's what I believe. And that's what I believe why we have a craving. It's just your body. Like, you know what? You need this right now. Eat it, you know? And then once you get enough of it, you stop. But we're not used to eating 
with our body anymore. We're eating with our heads, which is not the right organ to eat with, you know? So you're, you're like thinking you should finish this or you should eat this, but really your body signaling you something else. And if you're constantly in that state. And I'm certainly guilty of this. I did this for many years, right? Of like fighting against an instincts and then, you know, using your willpower to like keep up the nutrition or the diet or the whatever protocol that you want to do, you lose touch. You soon train yourself so out of whack that you like, now you don't have the right intuition because your brain's in a way, you know, now you don't have uh, the innate craving for the right things because you've kind of fucked it up for a while. Um, so that whole health crash recovery thing with diet, it was such a reset for me. Um, during it, I stopped all the dieting. I stopped overthinking. Um, and I just had to nurture myself with food. Now, because I was already pushed into that health issue state, it was even harder because then I had the, you know, adrenaline rush and the blood sugar you know, unstable blood sugar things to deal with it. So yeah, I was more challenged even then because now just following my intuitions and feeding myself wasn't just going to cure it instantly. I had to do that for a quite amount of time, like quite a, a chunk of time. Uh, so anyways, I'm passionate about this, not because I have you know, that I want to like push against anybody else's beliefs, but I'm passionate about it because I was not doing what was good for me. And I am the only one who can say that, um, just like everybody else. And now I'm doing what's really balanced for me. And I feel so great in that department. Um, I just like, and then it's just so much easier. I'm inspired about food. It's not like this, like stressful thing to have to upkeep this, like diet, I just don't have any of that right now. Um, and I've never been, I mean, like I've been as fit or better than I've ever been in my life. And it's not because I'm like going crazy on some kind of diet um, or I'm eliminating some food groups or blah, 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 or being a vegan or not being a vegan or this and that and this supplement and that supplement and that just none of that, you know? Um, so I, I, you'll, you'll notice there's a trend on my videos. I don't specifically tell you what to eat because that just goes against what I believe in now. Um, because I'm not you, you're not me. You're going to figure it out. And how you're going to figure out is you got to listen to what you want and what's good for you. Um, you're on your own journey, just like I am. And I want to support just that and allow the natural unfolding of what will be awesome for you in your own discovery. Um, I think that's the best I can do as a, a supporter because I certainly don't want to be one of those people who says you should do what you want, but do what I think you should want, right? So, because that's like totally um, like hypocritical. So, um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been doing these kind of like conversational videos mainly in my car because that's where I have like have time to do these so I hope you enjoy these I am been getting a good response on these so I enjoy making them and um I really enjoy sharing my thoughts and starting conversations like this I don't see as as much of these type of videos where you know it's not you know I'm not being attached to any kind of thing it's just more like an open conversation and allowing people to just choose what's right and it could be different it doesn't we don't all have to be the same to get along you know anyways uh hope you're having a great weekend it is sunday where i am and it's beautiful i'm probably gonna go play tennis and um eat okay thanks guys have a good one see you next time bye